podcast, your boy Sean. It's your boy G Downs. Hey man, look, if you're watching, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. If you're watching us on any platform, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Bad Speakers Podcast. Make sure if you on the audio platforms, look for us up on the remote. You know, mm, if you're watching, right. we should please, you're going to see us right below that. Bad Speakers Podcast, man. Mm. But look, we are here today with a trap. Music legend. A legend in the building. Man. One of the most iconic ad libs in hip hop history. I don't care what nobody say. I'm trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this man is one of the pioneers for a lot of your favorite producers, rappers, a lot of other things in hip hop history. He don't get quite the respect he deserved, in my opinion, because y'all give it to other people mm. that's around him. Mm -hmm. But we're going to touch on all of that today. <laughs> we are in him. With OJ the Juice Man. Hey, what it hey, do, cuz? You already know we rocking like cut out stocking, man. Jew Man in the building, Tesco shoulder, Sun Valley shoulder, Boulder Crest shoulder, Bomb in the bush. Got to do this. Shit. Let's get it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all having me, man. Man, bro, I swear, man, you want, I was telling them, man, you one of the ones, man, when I was, um, man, you and Gucci, bro. They come out every week. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the newest tape, yo. I seen Soldier Boy. Yo. Like, turn into a fan on um, Complex. Okay. And every week, bro, we going to the Dick Come Out, pick up Juice and Juice, man. Yeah. yeah. Man, bro. Every day, bro, y'all used to, every car I had, bro, that's all I was playing. Bro. Man, that's mm -hmm. hard. From Culinary Art School, mm. which is a classic. That's bro. my classic. <laughs> yeah, that one, <laughs> my yep. classic. One, yeah, yeah. That's the one. A lot of people allow That's all another day. classic. Oh, yeah. Damn. Man, what we do here, man, okay. is what we do, man, we try to honor hip-hop okay. our guests that, that have paved the way for a lot of stuff in mm -hmm. hip-hop man we ain't on none of that controversial stuff okay none of that bro we just honored to have you here today man okay so that's real we just want to go through your career man that's all mm -hmm. talk about stuff let's like get that, it man. let's go everybody know man you grew up <coughs> in east atlanta can mm -hmm. you touch on what it was like growing up there i mean for me probably like everyday normal shit is boulder crest east atlanta uh you know, apartments living, uh, the normal sh playing in the creek, uh, walking around taking folk trash out for a dollar to hit the Tesco, uh, picking up cans, trading aluminum for change uh, at the aluminum sites. Uh, then uh, let me see, it's like really basic, basic from staying in some apartments because you know, with the they not based on income apartments, but they like lower private type apartments mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying so it was big so you know it's a bunch of people in the motherfucker, and like that's how we just all kind of knew each other or whatnot from being younger to going to elementary together then we had the junior high then we had the high school and th therefore on like that right though yeah, so you you born in love mm -hmm, born at georgia baptist uh, hospital right there in fourth ward Okay. So you from East Atlanta? Mm -hmm. I know, you know, Gucci Man came boo to Atlanta. Yeah, well see, when I met Goo, it was uh we was in Mount Park, they were before Sun Valley, so I probably had to be in because I ain't get to Sun Valley till like uh third grade, I wanna say. So I was in Mount Park from first to second grade and then we moved to Sun Valley around third, maybe fourth. I, I really, it been so many years, but around that time, yeah, we came from Mountain Park first, when I first, first met Guwap, and then transpired everybody moved to Sun Valley, which is on Boulder Crest. Mountain Park was on Custer Road, like right off Boulder Crest, you know what I'm saying, so. So, how old was you about when you met him to begin with? Mm, however old you is in about the first and second grade, yeah. So you met him, y'all wasn't even teenagers or nothing like nah, that. Nah, hell no, nah, no. Nah. It was Nintendo out back then too. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all came up together. Yeah. Nah, the regular yeah, Nintendo yeah. The one you got to blow. Blow the cartridge. It, yeah. <laughs> if it don't work, you got yeah. to keep blowing it a few times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now, now I'm gonna ask you this because I cause cause I watched you on, on No Jumper. Okay. Is it true, bro, that you never left Georgia until you started rapping? Well, I just wanna know that. Never left Boulder Chris. Damn. Until Not even the city. I wouldn't even go to Moreland and Moreland like right Boulder there, Chris, right, right here, there, Moreland. Yeah. I ain't going to Moreland. I'm staying on Boulder Chris. Why? Like, why is that? 
Um, I don't know. I want to say we always was taught in our hood, like our hood is our hood. Bad stuff happen when you leave your territory mm -hmm. type. Like if, for instance, like by me being an east side dude, uh -huh. even not saying west side bad, but east don't really go to the west and west don't really go to the east. I understand You know that, what I'm saying? Yeah. So by me being- My man right here said that all the time. Yeah, so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's just like you stay where you know where your comfortability is on that. Mm -hmm. And once you go out there comfortability is on, then anything possible to happen. I feel you on that, man. Um, like you say, you came from Sun Valley. Mm -hmm. We got to get into it, man. How okay. did you end up being Gucci, man? How was that experience like when you met him? Did y'all just click off top? Or did it, you know, mm -hmm. Yeah, we clicked off top on some in Mount Park playing around as kids type shit. Then getting older, and when we moved to Sun Valley, uh, he was like a top. In Sun Valley, we had like sections of what part you stayed in. I was like a bottom boy because I stayed at the bottom. Nice. Goot stayed at the top, so he was like a top boy. So, but we were still in a rat, but it's take a minute to get to the top of the hill from where I'm at, and it's a long walk. So, either we on the basketball court in the middle because we got the middle boys, you know what I'm saying? That's where Brandon Putman don't come from, right there in the middle. Where the basketball court at? See, where we, where I was at, I had the creek. Gooten had the uh, what they had up there. I don't think they had shit at the top. The middle had the yeah. basketball court. Yeah. <laughs> we had the creek, and that's really about it. You know what I'm saying? So they don't change the name on them. Right? Yeah, uh, I think it's uh, damn, what's the name on the uh, mm. Mm. I remember, I remember not too long ago. Somebody told me they'll change the name. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. uh, what was, you know, what they was calling. So, yeah, I, I can't remember. I want to say something about the park or something, but then again, I might be wrong. When when did you get the bug for Wanna Rap? When did that happen? Mm, I want to say they kind of started, they kind of started young, uh, walking around in apartments. You know how apartments got them uh, green generators? Mm-hmm. And we started out beating on them, mm -hmm. freestyling, beating on them, freestyling. Right. And then um, as we got older, I want to say I had a brother of mine who got killed named Dayon. Mm -hmm. um, he used to walk around with a boombox, and I used to be rapping on top of other music, listening through the boombox. And he always encouraged me, like, man, Juice, you can probably really rap, bro, because you freestyling on these. The beats and it sound good, you know what yeah, I'm mean? yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, and then at first I still wasn't even serious. I wasn't even serious then. Um, I had got caught. I had to do some time. But the lawyer worked it for uh, get my five do two suspended to like 90 day boot camp or something like that I had to do. Mm -hmm. And then um, in the boot camp, I'm writing and freestyling for the in the boot camp type and then my sister came and get me from uh, boot camp when they let you out because you know you like hours down the road or whatnot, but your family got to come get you. Right. Mm -hmm. Or catch a uh, greyhound or type. Mm -hmm. So my sister done came and got me. And uh, when I got in the car, she handed me Gucci Trap House album. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn. So he was already. He had done kind of made, he had done made it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He had done signed on a local Big level. Cat, yeah. Mm -hmm. And had an actual album with a barcode on the back. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, when I when I get in the car and she hand me this, I'm looking at it like, oh, sh my boy actually made it. He said he was gonna do it. Mm -hmm. We always been some rap type, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it actually happened for uh, somebody that I really know, and and it actually happened for him. So I always had that mindset for coming home from boot camp, like, man, I'm gonna give it a try and see if it worked for me too. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, speak, but, now, speaking of that, now Gucci man once said. Jew man spoiled. He already got what all these rappers want. What made you just leave that life alone and just be like, you know what? Let me just put all my energy in, into my music career. Mm, I mean, what, what was oh me getting shot eight times and then uh, getting diagnosed with diabetes a week after I get shot eight times. No, I got diagnosed with diabetes first. Mm. And then I got shot eight times, seven days later after getting diagnosed with diabetes. So, 
Was it was that was that that 08 incident? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 08, yeah, it was uh, 2008. I got shot eight times, and then 2008, uh, a week later, I got diagnosed. No, diagnosed with diabetes first, and then I got shot. Yeah, that's how it went. It, when when did you know you got diagnosed with that? Cause oh, I, I remember when I used to watch the watch our freestyle videos. I was, I was like, shit, you had a little weight on them, but mm -hmm. then it just went away. I ain't know mm -hmm. if you were working out. I ain't know what was going yeah, on. Shit, we I were like, shit, it's a whole new right. juice bag, <laughs> goddamn. I wish I would push the weight, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I was uh, I was at a, I want to say my first, my first booking for a show in um. Roanoke, Virginia. Okay. I end up uh, getting real sick, like, but I don't know why I'm sick, like, but I'm throwing up constantly, can't stop, and like, I'm constantly pissing and shit. So, I'm, at the time, I'm still drinking regular drinks, not knowing. You got diabetes? That my diabetes fed up, mm -hmm. and then, so I'm so dehydrated, I'm just thirsty. Mm -hmm. But not knowing the sugar is what's tearing me up, so. I'm steady drinking, drink, drink every time. Hey, as soon as I'm drinking, but by my uh, blood sugar level high now, mm -hmm. every time I drink something, I'm throwing it right back up. Mm -hmm. I can't hold nothing on my stomach. Can't hold nothing on my stomach. So I'm throwing up bad. I do the show sick as a dog. Uh, I want. Did we come home that night? We might have came home next day, or even might have came home that night. I know when I got on the road coming back, I'm throwing up going coming down the highway. Can't stop shit, won't stop. I don't know where it coming from though. Um, get make it back, uh, make it back to the A. I'm super sick now, like I'm weak as a dog. I can't even get up off the floor. Mm -hmm. Uh call my girl, come get me from where I was at. In the midst of that, now I'm throwing up black and I'm throwing up yellow. But it go from yellow to black. That's the lining of your stomach. You feel me? Damn, real? Yeah, yeah. So now, um, we in slick panic mode because I ain't mm. never experienced nothing like this. So she uh, convinced me, like, bro, we got to go straight to the high pillar because something ain't right. You just can't stop throwing mm. up. Right. Get to that motherfucker, man. Blood sugar got 980. What it's supposed to be? 150. Damn. Shit. Mm. And then that's when you find out. That when I found out, and the folk kept me. I think I stayed in the hospital longer for diabetes than getting shot. I got shot on a, let me see, I got shot on a Sunday. They put me out the hospital on a Wednesday. Is it true that you did a show that same week? I did a show that Friday on crutch. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the check, you gotta get it. Yeah, I did a show that Friday. I was up that motherfucker. If it here when I was rapping like a motherfucker, goddamn. Hey, you feel me? The folk looking like, damn, right. I didn't hear anything wrong with him. But I had just got shot. Yeah. And it fed up the nerves in my right leg, so I couldn't put no weight on my right leg. Gotcha. Oh, um, you known for your gold teeth. Yep. I made you take them out. Gotta ask you. Man, getting older. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Getting older. Kids got daddy, got still got old gold teeth. Had a couple bad teeth. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm got. I ain't the same 18 year old. Cause see, I been had gold teeth since I was 16. Yeah. yeah. And I don't. Well, I went through like three different sets. I went through three different sets. The last set I just had for it, top for it, the bottom. I probably had them by over a decade for sure. Yeah. For sure. Man, I, I want to ask you something, man. Because you used to talk that shit like, hey, Rick, yeah. like Rick Flair on the yeah. song, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm they, talking about. They deterred me from talking shit like that. That's why I really don't do it no more. Because when I was with the label and certain yeah. people, Juice, you can't talk like that. You can't <laughs> you can't tell people you don't need to vouch for you. You do, but bro, I don't. Bro, you used yeah, to talk yeah, that yeah, shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. need to for me, Since though. that shit happened to me, bro, yeah. I never really went back to that. Boy, zebra bad fry. <laughs> like, you feel me? I, I, yeah. I don't know. It's just like it yeah. ain't in me like that no more, maybe because they you... deterred me and I stayed yeah. away from it so long. I know I can still kick that kind of shit. Already but know. Bro. I know I recently <laughs> had been trying to do it with Kelly. And I'm one take shouting, but I found myself stumbling in trying to say the 
Rick Flair type talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't usually do that. I usually want to take it. Like, when I say it, that's what it is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You, you feel like you don't lost a little of your... You know what I'm saying? Swagger. Spash, yeah, yeah kind of. I want to say kind of, yeah, but no. But sometimes I get in that zone where I be like, man, these motherfuckers don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just don't give a f You feel like, like it's your peak, you know what I'm saying? No, you know, we, I'm a huge fan. You feel like your time done passed? Hell yeah, nah, hell yeah, nah. Right. Hell yeah, nah. Right. I feel like I got another shot at it. I do yeah. too, bro. But uh, me bullshit, me bullshit, and time don't stop. Yeah. So you feel like that statement that he mentioned that Gucci Man said was kind of true a little bit? You was a little spoiled early on? Nah, I wouldn't say spoiled because I don't really, I, I don't understand like what spoiled mean like. He ain't nobody just, spoiled yeah. me. I, I mean, I, I got everything. He said y'all had money. Yeah, basically. I think y'all. You know, I think that Watt was just saying basically everything that be getting in the rap game for it. It be for the wrong reason. But he was like, Juice already had all. He got the jury. He got. The, he already had everything a rapper wanted. So he wasn't really, you know, that enthused the rap like that. True. More at than first, what he did. Yeah. At first, not knowing the kind of money that was in the industry. Right. Because I'm coming from the trap world. You know mm -hmm. what I'm mean? saying? I'm just trying some new. Because I'm done been to face two life death situations. Mm -hmm. You you don't know too many get shot eight times and still yeah. be able to talk to you. Yeah. No, I agree with you on that. You know what I, I'm saying? I told my partner I was gonna ask you that man. What the hell does shark fin dog meat zebra back <laughs> taste like, bro? What the fuck do that taste like, bro? <laughs> like, bro, when you said that shit. On the song, bro. <laughs> bro, I said, I swear, but when I heard that, I said, bro, I don't know what that shit, that shit take good. Yeah, it sounds like it take good, yeah. Bro, where you get that from? Man, bro? I, I would cap it on the zebra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it out there. I would cap it yeah, on the zebra. Bro, I would like shock. I ain't yeah. nowhere in the hill. <laughs> I know he eat no zebra back. Like, <laughs> bro, these yeah. folks ain't even letting you kill a zebra. Yeah, <laughs> for me to be able to get no zebra back, bro. But, when you, say, you know, you do got restaurant. They got the sharp meat, uh, yeah, yeah, calamari, yeah, yeah. pasta, yeah. Uh, and they got the fried gator and shit like bro. that. Now that kind of shit, I don't. Yeah. Eat. But by me experiencing that kind of food, yeah. when I implicated it in raps, it just sound good. Bro, that shit sound good. Yeah, I was like, well, I ain't never heard a nigga say eat sharp meat. We are chicken, <laughs> yeah, yeah. not yeah. sharp meat though. Sharp meat, man. That nigga said zebra, <laughs> zebra back, that nigga fried, said, man. That nigga said zebra back, dog. What you know about that? Yeah. I said, Oh, and then I see shit, folks be bro. like, they don't understand my, I guess they call me country, which I might be country. Yeah. But they say, when I be like, zebra back, dog, fried dog, they be like, bro, that nigga said fried dog meat. No, bro, I ain't say <laughs> fried dog meat. I said fried zebra, I said zebra back fried dog. Yeah. yeah, you see what I'm mean? yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah, hey, man, I, when I heard that, I said, bro, that nigga here talking that shit, man. You know what I'm um, saying? Also, man, going back a little bit early on, um, you and Gucci Man had a song called More Money. You remember that song? Um, it was on Gucci, Gucci Sosa. He said Juice. He said uh, Sign Warren Fritcher, but Gucci got, got Juice got, got his own. Money. Okay, 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 okay. Did yeah, you realize yeah, yeah. in the background he kind of slick this uh, Soldier Boy on that song in the background of that song? He was like, any nigga taking Juice Man ass, hey, I'ma slap, I'm slap the shit out of. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I didn't know yeah, you had caught that. Yeah, about. yeah, I caught him. Oh. I think I might have been in the studio. Sitting there while he was recording, just laugh like, man, this nigga he was so retarded, man. <laughs> yeah. This nigga gonna go fuck what he say, bitch. He go motherfucking say it and yeah. give three fucks how you feel about it. Yeah. You he always been like that? Yeah. Yeah, he always, well, before rap, Goop been like that. You know, old Ray, man. Yeah, he been like that. How did you feel about Soldier Boy using your ad libs on Shopping I was Spring? mad. I was mad at one point. I was mad yeah. as hell at one point, but then... I respect the shit out of Soldier because he did some real stand up shit. Okay, yeah. uh, what it was? I was at the BT Awards. What it was? Twenty ten BT okay. Awards. One of them. Two thousand nine BT Awards. Uh, Soldier Boy was doing a uh, Gucci bandana. Gotcha. Song. Yeah, I remember that song. Yeah. And um, I was in the back buying some, picking up some jewelry that I had purchased that I was trying to wear for the BT. Mm -hmm. And he was picking up some jewelry too. So I kind of seen him back there and he tell me to come here 
I'm slick, still kind of mad. Yeah, yeah. Boy, you stole my whole shit, bro. Yeah, I, ain't, yeah. I ain't steal it to try yeah. to come in the game. Like, I ain't steal shit yeah. from nobody. I made this shit up. Like, yeah. trying to be creative. And yeah. then you take it by you having a bigger name. Yeah, yeah. Folk thought it was here. You mm -hmm. feel me? At the time, because he had the Marco Polo shit with Bow yeah, Wow yeah, he was yeah. using. I'm like, oh, man, they finna tear me up. And I'm trying to get in the game. Yeah. So, at that war shit, uh, he called me back there. He like, bro, I'm finna go up here and do Gucci Bandana. Would you mind doing the A's on? I said, nigga, you for real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Well, yeah. you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't finna be on BT stage. No way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched that when that happened too, bro. So home called me up here, Gucci up here, Charlotte Low, Soldier Boy. He said, I, I said, bro, I, I didn't, uh, cause you know you gotta rehearse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I don't know where I need to stay on. I'll, bro, all I need you to do is say the A's on the A part for Gucci Bandana, Gucci, Gucci Bandana. Hey, yeah. Yeah. you feel me? Yeah. Like, but I already knew the song because it's easy right. ass hook. Yeah, right, right, you right. feel me? So, boom, I, I was on point. I just made sure I didn't get in none of their way because they was for real performing. Right. So, I just played the background, walking back and forth, back and forth, wait my turn to say the A. And then I might have said A a few times in Gucci verse because that's my boy. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wanted to do it and shout a low shit, but right. yeah. me, me and Shawty cool, but he ain't like how me and Gucci would be to where if Shawty would get mad, like, damn, bro, let me say my verse mm -hmm. and you ain't got to do all the ad little right. shit. So right. I just didn't do it on mm -hmm. Shawty part. Oh, what, what, was, that, was that like your, like your first big performance, you think? Just in general, like your biggest TV, crowd? TV, yeah, TV wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, TV Because I posted went and did fucking uh, Jimmy Kimmel with R. Kelly, oh, Super, wow. Superman High. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But they canceled my, they canceled me. Well, not just like canceled me, but they didn't use me. Mm -hmm. Kelly went and still did it. They just didn't use me. But I felt like that would have been a bigger huge good look, too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That would been actually you rapping your part. You feel me? Because I got the hook and mm -hmm. the fucking verse on that record. What, what, um, your first show where you knew you, what was your first show when you knew you made it? Like shit, man, I'm 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 lit. Mm. Ain't nobody ain't, can't nobody stop me. It had to be that that shooting show. I was on Christmas. I was in Carolina. Yeah, the club right out the expressway. It was so many people in that motherfucker, and they liked my music. Yeah, because they were like my first show. That got to remember now. I'm on the road with Gucci. I'm OJ, but I ain't. Quarter brick, half a brick OJ is. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm still, before home rapping, I'm in the crowd passing out my CD. Right, right, right. But right. you had, you had Copper Chicken at this time, though, right? Mm. Wasn't that Copper Chicken? It, it wasn't, it wasn't known. Okay, okay. It, it wasn't, it wasn't known. None of this shit, none of my music was known to where they can sing it word for word yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, so you, so you put still my, work, you working your moves. So. Yeah, I'm, okay. I know I got my cell phone yeah. number on the CD. Yeah. This my CD. I got all my hits on it. I want to yeah. say this was uh, my Burn One CD on the come up with DJ Burn One. Okay. And then I I, I put out, after Burn One, I did my self entitled uh, mixtape with uh, DJ Dirty Lunge called OJ the Juice Man. Okay. I had on a uh, black hooded Gino Green Global. Mm. And that shit really had. All the copper chickens, I be trapping. See, Burn One didn't have that. Burn One had all the music from me getting out of boot camp. Mm -hmm. Then I did, I'm um, getting money. I be trapping, I be trapping. I'm booming, I'm back. Uh, mm -hmm. All that was on the Dirty Laundry, OJ the Juice Man tape. Yeah. But I'm at the show, handing them out. I'm handing them out CDs and flyers. CDs and flyers, and then when it's about time for Gucci perform shit, I'm going up here hype, man, because I know all my boy music. You feel yeah. me? Mm -hmm. So boom, and that's he how had that went. Trap, he had trap house and all that at that time. Uh huh. He had trap house. He had uh, my kitchen. Uh -huh. Don't know about Got ass nobody on the fuck with my. Um, did he have ass on? Something yeah, like that's on trap yep, house. Yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. It wasn't. Uh, I want to say PL Seven. Transpired. I don't think. Okay. I'm geeked up. Uh, I might be, bitch. So, I might. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. think that had transpired just yet. So you were opening up for him at this time? Nah, I wasn't doing no opening up. I'm just hype man. Oh, you're the hype man, yeah, but yeah. you're passing out working yeah, your yeah, movement. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just want to go on the shows and get my music out here. Gotcha. I don't mind hype man. But that was smart though. Yeah, yeah. That was smart. If you I see got him? a hype man to pay my shit out, come on with it, Jack. 
So yeah. what reason you when you when you did you start getting booked for like for shows just you individually? Mm, my first run note show, so that was like around the time they got the whiff of a uh, copper. I wouldn't even say copper chicken. Cause I want to say I'm getting money went first. I'm getting okay. money. Yeah, I'm getting money went getting first, money. and then behind that, that I be trapping, public housing. Boom and banking, then maybe copper chicken, got then you. make the trap say hey. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now I got a question, man. What happened to Courtney money? Oh, Courtney, he's still around. He's still around. He's still around. It just you know how be you got to grow each other, man. Yeah, you were pushing yeah. Courtney, man, I was pushing for a minute, man. man. I'm glad you you, you were pushing Courtney, that man. And seen that. <laughs> you know what I'm like yeah, I ain't yeah. know about Courtney money to the juice. A lot, like, nigga, a lot of niggas don't give him credit for what I did, but yeah, I'm glad I, you. I'm glad you man, said I'm that. Man, I'm man, bro. Man, you hear that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, not, money, not you, but I'm telling yeah. you the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. Courtney, <laughs> Courtney, man, I remember yeah. you were pushing Courtney, man. They were like Courtney. I'm like I had fell back to try to get him out. You know. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, uh -huh. dang. Um, I remember the early Juice Man mixtapes, like okay. you, the ones you just named, Dirty Laundry. But it seemed like it really took off when you dropped Culinary Art School. With, it, it, it did. With, with drama. Like that, that, that was with... Was that with drama or with Holiday? With drama and Holiday, both of them. Drama and Holiday, yeah, both of them was on. There. So they call it their art school drop before Alaska and Atlanta. Or? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Art school drop for Alaska and Atlanta. That's when, cause you, that was a gangster grill. Okay, so that's when I was recording that Big Run Studio. Then when we dropped that. We and it seemed like studio. that's when. And we in Colin there at our school. Yeah. Well, really, yeah. well, yeah. Really, 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 it seemed like it took off when Gucci Man put Make Traps A on So Icy Boy mixtape. That was on So Icy Boy Me Say. Yeah. Well, that's the case. It was probably previously on. I know I put Make the Traps A on like fucking yeah. five or six of them guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it was the way it was mixed on there with the. Because we put it, it out, down. we put it out three different versions. Right. We put out uh, a version with Hook, Gucci, Hook, Me, Hook, Me. Then we put out a version. You went me first. first, Gucci second, then I got a third verse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, it was another version that came out where I had. That I had the first two verses and home. They switched his verse to third verse. It no. was like two, three verses the, of that song that came the out. The best version is the one Superstar J Quick did. And he mixed it where you, it slowed down where you were like, I'm booming, booming, bunking, bunking, oh, turbing, and all that. And then when you yeah. came back in, it was like, God, oh, but man. you killed that shit. Mm, like, the, so it really was the mix game. The mixtape. Yeah. Quick, me, quick what, did that made it. To go crazy. Yeah. Mm, to go crazy. Mm, um, Damn, who, can that's you crazy. The, can you set the record straight, man? Whose song is that? Gucci wrote in this book that it was his song. He gave it to you. <laughs> but you said on previous interviews that Gucci didn't want the beat, so you said, well, Zay Tovin, hold this for me. Man, this it's shit weird because, nigga, I, I didn't read the book, but folk was saying in the book he said uh, it was shit. But, man, from I don't know, man. From my recollection, I remember, nigga, the beat wasn't used. Mm -hmm. I hit Zay. You, I mean, you know, tapping. Let me put that motherfucker to the side for me and shit. We went from there. I wrote the hook. I got two verses. So I don't, I don't know. I, and you know, I can't throw my boy on the bus. I feel you on that. I, feel I, I can't. I don't know, bro. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> on, on Make the Trap mm -hmm. say, hey, man, you had two of the biggest superstars show up to the video shoot, Nicki Minaj. And how the hell did you get Big Boy to show up just to be there? Like, Ooh, now that card, I, I was can't like, say, how the fuck that? I happened? know Nicki Minaj was managed by Jose Entertainment, Deb. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's probably part of the reason she was around to help break her in the process. She already was with Young Money, right? Mm -hmm. People knew of her. Right, right. But break her with some down south niggas, you know, yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. who have emotion down south. And then Big Boy, that shit right there was so legendary. But I yeah. see that. But I said, how did that happen? I don't yeah. know, cause I'm trying to think. I know I ain't put the call in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, dang, yeah. I was yeah. showing sure off. I, I want to say Bob's probably being in 
Pittsburgh University might have heard about it because it yeah. was a it was a big shoot. Like it was a big shoot. We had two buses out there and shit. He might have heard it through the grapevine, or somebody might have put a call in. I yeah. can't I can't really say, but he was there. Did y'all know he was pulling up? I did. So he just popped Surprise. up like, oh, I didn't, shit. but maybe he was in yeah. with the video directed people type shit. Okay. Like, hey, you want to get a cameo? You know, we shoot some shit for uh, Juice Man and Gucci or Gucci and Juice Man. You know yeah, what I was saying? hot too, though. That I was hot as a fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, when you hot, shit hot, you know what I'm yeah. saying? People mingle more. Now, I'm going to give you some more flowers, man. Is it is it true that you discovered Metro Booming? Oh, man. <laughs> Keep it a buck now. <laughs> you know he just, you know because he is he is he just, right now probably the top producer in the game right now. Yeah, you know he just, I think we got seventy million for his catalog. Now, 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 listen, I I I know you were loyal to uh, Lex Luger and, and others, but did you discover Metro Boomin? Yes, I did. I discovered Lex. How Luger. that happen? You discovered Lex Luger. You Luger? Got, I discovered Lex Luger first. Oh shit. I didn't know that now. Man, you can ask him. Let's look you, you I believe real when they ask you. <laughs> <laughs> so well, how how you and Metro hook up? Like how, how did well how did that happen? Um once Lex got a slit stole from me because I didn't want to do bad paperwork. I could put him on the paperwork. It wouldn't be no pressure. Yeah. Mm. Um once Lex got stole from me, um slit hurt cause we had a sound. Like how me and Zay got a sound. You Last know what I'm one hard, bro. Yeah. So uh I'm back in my email. I met Les Luger in email. Okay. Um uh, I'm back in the email now I'm trying to find the next sound that kinda emulates Les Luger cause this my sound now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Besides all these Zaytoven beats. Thanks. All right. Uh I found Boom. Found Metro on the email. Boom. It's to the beast. I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Boom, hit him back like, man, damn, look, homie, and shit, he was dope. You put me in the mind of Les Luger. He's like, yeah, that's I kind of create my beats off of mm -hmm. home style with the hook. I'm like, that's perfect because I just lost him. Boom, mm -hmm. we started working. Then put him on the paperwork needed. You feel me? Could have had Metro sign, all kind of shit. Mm -hmm. But me being the nigga I am, because I got fucked in bad paperwork, I just want to do correct business how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I know when I, if you sign, you're supposed to sign for some money. So I don't got that kind of money to give you. But if I can just rap on your beats, get niggas to hear you, mm -hmm. the shit going to come. It going to go. Got you. you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's kind of what happened then. Nigga came and backed up me on him too. So, But I ain't tripping on now I'm one of them situations because shit, it, it played out the way it was. I got beats and I can't even tell you how many mixtapes I got with Metro producing beats and cool. how I many mixtapes I got with Lex Luger. I probably my whole six, one whole six rings tape I got that yeah, folks like it's all yeah. Lex Luger. Luger. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, who now Lex Luger did all Last Man Atlanta too, didn't? He? Well, Some of it, but Fat Boy did something too. Okay, yeah, yeah. Fat Boy come from Charlotte Red. Right. Yeah, right. Fat Boy be run. So it, on that last in line, it was Fat Boys, Lex Lugas, Zays. Went on Metros at the time because I'm still in with Lex Luger. Yeah. You had a man. You got it. Yeah. Like yeah. a lot of people don't give you your recognition, but for you to pick two of them big producers, you know, Mike Will was coming around before Mike Will was Mike Will. Yeah. 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 But who? That, who, who comes I want to I want to say Gucci might have met Mike Will type first, right. okay. but Mike Will was coming to my studio on Gresham Road. Okay. Okay. Where the freestyle shit at? Where I got the cigarette in my ear. You yeah. know, kind of chubby. Yeah, that's right down. There. Like my studio here, we freestyle that right here. Wow. Mm. Long line of dope, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't even remember. It was a freestyle. And then when I when I double back to look, I was like, man, what the hell time I was on? I was on some, I don't know. I, I wanted the freestyle, but I, my fat, stupid ass, no, I ain't no freestyler, so it ain't coming out how my rope shit will come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, would, I ain't gonna lie to it, it, it was pretty piece dope. Piece of hood yeah. charger. You know what I'm saying? I ain't coming like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm coming yeah. with yeah. Triple B scale. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to that. shit like you know what I'm saying. That's your heart though, bro. Like looking like when you go back for that to be a freestyle, bro. You and I'm looking at my eyes like, oh damn, why these folks think I'm slick crazy? <laughs> I'm slick crazy like for real in real life, but yeah. they really like 
Cause I'm looking like, oh damn, it look like I'm an animal. Like, yeah. <laughs> damn, I'm a beast on them motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a cool ass nigga, laid back motherfucker, man. Yeah. Did y'all have a did y'all have a plan? Like, cause y'all was one of the first ones who was doing the DVDs, mm -hmm. putting them out there like that. Then y'all was one of the first ones to put them on YouTube once YouTube became a thing. You know what I'm saying? Nah, see, nah, I didn't that YouTube shit, I'm just not learning YouTube. Oh, okay. Not talking about like the early stuff with you and Gucci. I know that, Gucci the, don't the did film, it. The cameraman know we're doing it. They did it, okay. Yeah, like I didn't know you can get paid for YouTube. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But y'all was the one the first one doing the DVD, DVD down yeah. here in yeah, the, mm -hmm. true. Did y'all have a plan with that? Did y'all feel like okay, the more exposure we get, it's gonna go. You know what nah, I'm saying? Nah, we ain't planning. It. it was just like by us kind of like having motion and we in the city. We not maybe not like out the city mm -hmm. big, but in the city niggas fucking with us. We doing open mics. We we doing like getting our name out there and them kind of people with like the hood affairs, they was coming to our studios already, mm -hmm. having cameras and just recording it, recording and storing footage, storing footage and then coming like, hey bro, let's we got all this footage, let's do some documentary type shit. And that when the yeah. raw reports was out doing the DVD, that, yeah, you know bro. what I'm saying? Bro, I swear we used to go every time they be like, somebody gotta tell them, but they got a new hood for out with Gucci and Juno. We used to the one that go get them bitches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The one was y'all was freestyling, I'm getting money with Gucci Man had the shirt off. Man. I think y'all in front of the Corvette. We was in, yeah. okay. In front of the Corvette. Mm -hmm. Did like what made like did y'all knew y'all can do that? What made you do that? You just Nah, I wanna say when we pulled up. When we pulled up, hood of fell pulled up with her. And we, as we getting out the car, Goop like, bro, we need to film some shit. And then it just started from there. Dang. I think Walker was trying to it that day. Maybe so. Yeah, Maybe I think, so. He, think he was right there. Let, let's, let's get into the legendary freestyle, man. Did you think that the, the freestyle of the one you were talking about a minute ago, you know, I come from a long line, mm -hmm. though. Did you think that that video was going to get 14 million views on YouTube. Hey, hell nah, because that, kind of, <laughs> that bitch on my channel. <laughs> Whoever got 14 million views on that motherfucker, right. your channel monetized, bitch, you, you good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You good. I never thought that that freestyle of y'all, and then you, did you ever realize that everybody out there blowed up? Mm, you, no, because it might will, Charlotte Lowe, yep. blowed up, Gucci, blowed up, me, up. DJ, DJ uh, uh, Yola. Yola. Everybody out there. Zay was out there too. Zay told Did Zay pull yeah. up? Okay. Yeah, he Zay. was in the back. Yep. Charlotte, everybody out there. Damn, up. that's crazy. I was like, wow. On, he, I, you know, on, like I said, Courtney Money, I don't know what happened with that situation. Yeah, but. that's crazy. I want to say Charlotte pulled up on behalf of Gucci because mm -hmm. Gucci and Charlotte were boy boys, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, yeah. Gucci going to go to Bankhead mm -hmm. and then Charlotte going to come fuck with Goo on mm -hmm. wherever he at and they doing some shit, having motion or want to shoot some video type shit. Oh, yeah, they doing it. Well, that stage, bro, or did you really just pull up just there? When? Oh, that when cause in the video, it looked like you just pulled, you man just pulled up from a long day of trapping. Like, <laughs> I did, I did, did you really they, just pull up right yeah, there? Yeah, because I was down there, but they said, oh, uh, bro, why in the hell you ain't down there with Gucci Lum, but them niggas down there recording. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, recording, freestyling. I'm yeah. like, well, they say down on the end. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm on the motherfucking way. <laughs> I want to get some camera time too. Yeah. I'm show these folks I, I can do this shit too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it's like you went in instantly. Like, hell yeah, yeah, when I pulled yeah. up, I see the lights on the camera and shit. I'm like, shit, my turn. <laughs> my turn. Let me let me get in. Yeah. Like like the double dip on the on the jump rope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, my mother, oh, I'm in there hole now, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. So that was a straight freestyle. Really. All freestyle. All the hit. That's why I'm telling you, I'm not a freestyle rapper. I'm not a freestyle rapper. Yeah. Like freestyle is not my thing. I'm gonna write it. Or if I am freestyling, I can't do it around niggas. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Like when I'm at home recording, I'm freestyling mic right here, and I'm just saying record. I can freestyle by myself. Come record myself. I ain't by nobody. Mm -hmm. I ain't gotta let niggas hit me fuck up. And oh mm -hmm. damn, take it back. I gotta take it back twenty times. Cause yeah. hey, you feel me? Cause mm -hmm. the freestyling ain't like right. Now when I write the shit, I can go in there and one take it. But when I freestyle it, I might fuck up a few times. But when I fuck up around folk, I feel like niggas watching me. I'm killing studio time. Yeah. I just rather go on and write it. So that was so basically you did that because you felt like that was an opportunity that it was, you can't miss. Yeah, as an opportunity I can't miss, and I'm trying to get my voice heard to where these folk are like me. But that, bro, that, I never yeah. thought that shit would have been as legendary as it was. Cause now I look at it on YouTube, man, that, it got like 14, 15 million views. I'm that like, crazy, what bro. the world? Can you imagine that, that, what they was doing was in this time? time during this social, time, if y'all was during this time in social media, bro, and see, man, we, had, we know it was MySpace back then. 
Went yeah. on Twitter. Oh, yeah. 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 Went on Facebook Twitter. Went MySpace. on Instagram. YouTube wasn't really shit back then. It yeah. was just MySpace. MySpace was the main thing. Facebook was back then, but niggas wouldn't even really utilize Facebook because they weren't big yet. It was just straight MySpace. That's crazy. Now, while you down here in the South and everybody, it don't matter where you going, you hot, you hot. But I did find out that you once went to a con performed at a concert up top in New York, I think, mm -hmm. and you got booed. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? Ah, uh, shit. Being up, especially being up there with all them lyrics, is like Jada Kids, Wu Tang. I bet you I, were like, man, I what the hell? Know I was on that kind of tag. I probably would have turned the shit down. Like, <laughs> and I fought with Jada. Jada yeah, 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 yeah. me. Like, Jada can really rap. Like, yeah. That's what real rap is. It's yeah, right, right. You feel me? Gotcha. Like, Real rap is Jada Kids, you know what I'm saying? So I really not no Wu Tang fan, cause gotcha. we from down south. Like yeah. a lot of that New York shit make your head hurt when you do mm -hmm. it. Too. <laughs> yeah, cause really. you trying to put it together. Yeah. yeah, it's too much to put together. It's too many big ass words. I got to down there pull out an encyclopedia. Yeah, <laughs> you break your yeah. ears down. Yeah, you feel me? So when that shit happened, I just felt like. At, at, at that time, I was mad as hell. Hell yeah, yeah, but over the time, I felt like. At that time when that when I did that shit, they really just didn't understand what the fuck I was trying, what I was saying in the music. Yeah. But if you look at it now, that's all we're really going on. Niggas rapping yeah. what I've been rap, what it been fifteen years ago. Yep. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I don't, you know, I don't know who booked that or whatever. But it was a fucked up booking. Yeah. That, yeah. They they should have known. And, and I was told it was promo, but motherfuckers were really paid. You feel? Me? Yeah. Like yeah. I went on some promo shit, then go deep on some he he ha ha. Let's do it. Let's try it. BB King. Never heard of it. Yeah. Don't know what it is. Oh, mm. you talking about the blues, man? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Let's try it. Boom. Get up. You trying there. to expand Joe? Just going off music. Not yeah. not trying to be a headache for the label. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Say do it. Let's do it. I'm willing. I'm with with whatever to make this shit keep going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I get up here, and then it's a fucking Wu Tang show, and these folks looking like nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you don't get your ass off that motherfucking yeah. stage, nigga. Yeah. You want to see some shit? <laughs> you up here on some shit? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But that's first the but that's I, the wave now though. They can't thing say I shit come now. Out talking about booming yeah. and banging, the folks looking like booming and banging. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't know what it is. Mm. Oh. I'm selling all the babies. Down. He selling all the babies. Well, he selling children. <laughs> <laughs> he selling no children. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He don't know a baby got down 62 yeah. grams. Yeah. 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 You feel me? I got to break it down in fucking police terms for you to understand. So I try to leave it in street term, yeah. baby. So now I got to tell you, bro, 62 grams of fucking crack cocaine or powder cocaine is a baby. But they mm. don't know that. Hey, man. But down south turn down. <laughs> How you um, think? How you think about these new rappers that's been talking in police terms on social media? Uh, you know, of course, I'm pretty sure you know about the YSL case. We don't get into all that, but just how, how these rappers moving now? How they be really exposing themselves just on every little thing, even if it got to do with a relationship with a bitch, man? Like what you what you be thinking of these niggas nowadays, bro? When well, you I just be it, watching it. When I see it, I just you know I start stay away from it. I'm from the old school, you know yeah. what I'm saying. I don't comment on it. I really try not to even look at it. If I see that kind of shit, I hear it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I don't in, want to indulge in it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be around it. I don't want to be affiliated with it. If that's what y'all do, that's on y'all. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Just right. leave me the fuck out of it, please. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm not in your lane. Mm -hmm. I'm not no, the young rappers who trying to compete with you. Hey, man, I do trap rap activity. Yeah. <laughs> goddamn, can't get with it or don't understand it. Yeah. Just don't listen to it. Yeah. I feel you on that. Er early on, man, you used to hang with Walker brother like he was your brother. Yeah, okay, yo, that was every that was single show. Right. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. When I didn't know really what was going on, I thought that was your brother. I used to buy that Jew man brother. Like, but I didn't know that was Walker brother. But he just liked it you so much. He just wanted to be around. Mm. Can you speak on his relationship and and with what's going on with you and Walker, like? You wouldn't think that would happen because you were so close to his brother. You know what I'm saying? He know that you don't mean no harm by the things yeah, that you don't say. Yeah, but you know, man, Walker kind of, we been fell apart. K.O. been seen that shit. That would kind of fuck K.O. because we was all supposed to be one big family. Mm -hmm. And once I found out 
that my money was being took. I ain't want to play foul no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. And that shit just tore apart a big ass family. When if motherfuckers would have stayed real, we, we can be still getting money right now. Yeah. Because I'm just that kind of nigga, but shit, I ain't finna let you piss on me and, uh, and tell me it rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was you was you signed to Miss Deb? Yeah, or? I was. I was signed. No one signed to Gucci. I was signed to Miss A Entertainment. Why so was any any? I'm sorry. I'm was, the only artist yeah. signed to Miss A Entertainment. So Gucci, none of them was never signed to her. I'm the only artist that she was, was just a manager for them. Wow. Gucci mm-hmm. and Deb was being the partners of So Icy. Mm-hmm. Why you never signed with So Icy? Mm-hmm. Now I understand Juice. Gucci said in the song, you know, what I'm saying sign war and friendship, but Juice got his own money. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like, I think, just look from the outside in, I ain't, I ain't never been in a rap game, nothing like that. You would have benefited the most mm-hmm. being signed up under Gucci, Gucci man, than True. anybody. It, it, in the hip-hop history, the right-hand man always go. True. Every every person. Mm-hmm. Drove, T.I., yep. anybody in Wu-Tang Clan, whatever you want, whoever you want to go to, the right-hand man always go. Gunner, Young Thug, Lil Baby Rilo. I'm going to just put it like that. All I wanted was, on the back of my CD, executive produced by Otis Williams. And, you know, certain people went with it. So, mm. I ain't want no money in that. I just wanted that. Otis Williams on the back of my CD. You the boss of it. Not even that. You can put executive. If you put executive, I just want my part too. Your credit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I feel you on that, man. Moving. For 2010, you end up making the XXL magazine freshman cover. Mm, mm-hmm. You was on actually they this actually went down as the greatest cover I think for XXL history. I heard that too. I think it was first and then second one was the one with 21 Savage and uh, yeah. and uh, uh, Kodak Black done. Okay, but you had you Nipsey Hussle, J Cole, Wiz Khalifa, J Sean, J Rock, like. Oh, that man. was a pretty big Who class. Who was on the, the, the uh, Pichon, Pill, Dynas, yeah, yeah, like Pill. How was that making that cover? Did you feel like at that time when you made that cover? Oh, I'm I'm out of here. Yeah, and I felt like shit. If you look at the cover, you could tell who really. You were hotter than them at that time, now. Look out the jewelry I had. On. I bought, I bought, <laughs> ain't nobody buying yeah. none of my jewelry. Nope. Yeah, you were at that, that Brit, time. That Brit Squad chain I had, the charm was twenty thousand. The chain was twenty thousand. That OJ the Juice Man charm I had with the, the orange, orange, oh my, forty thousand. Yeah. That orange and white thirty two chain. Everybody think this the same chain? No. That orange and white chain that I had, the charm was thirty thousand. The trunk, the the chain was twenty thousand. Mm. Yeah. That twenty piece I had the the whole total value for that motherfucker was twenty two thousand chain and trunk. My Brighton watch that motherfucker was forty thousand. My twenty row bracelet I paid eighteen five for that motherfucker. I had a pair of earrings I paid ten thousand for. Mm. I had a pink ring I paid seventy five hundred for. And mind you, nobody on that cover had no jewelry on. Mm, but nobody. nobody. I want to say Wiz did. Let me not hate on Wiz. I thought he had his shirt on. He had a P, a P chain. Yeah, 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 he did. Okay. He had that Pittsburgh. He had, he had a P Pittsburgh. chain. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? But I'm on that motherfucker looking like <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, bro. I just looked at it. I was like, bro. Like, only bro, thing bro. I ain't yeah. really like, I had to wear 87 32 clothes. Why? Because they, they were the That's, sponsor? Yeah. Oh, okay. But Jesus just did the Juice Man this. Straight shots to the head for oh, some juice, juice man. man. Yeah, I remember that on yeah. um, uh, I after Gucci said dick pulling mud raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dick, so Jesus, dick pulling blood and uh, mud raw. Yeah. It's blood raw, but yeah. he called him dick pulling. I'm like, so Jesus, you think I'm signed to Gucci? Even mm-hmm. though they're my boy, boy, I ain't feel me. Yeah. But since you think I'm signed to him, you diss me because he dissed your artist. You feel me? Yeah. Which I was a Jesus fan. Yeah. yeah. I like the trap or die. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? How was that though? Was that weird back then? You being a Jesus fan and Go- you know how Gucci feels. I about just know not to say nothing about no Jesus shit around. 
<laughs> Can't right, even right, pull right. up. Like, I'm, we, hey, Ju, we at the studio tonight. And niggas pull up, and my car pull up me. Yeah. Trap or die, nigga. <laughs> I couldn't do that. But I know this shit word for word, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, he, he was saying about, like, he, yeah. he didn't. No, nah, he never tell me, oh, Ju, you can't. He need never that. Yeah. I just. Out of respect. Out of respect. Yeah. That's my boy. Yeah. yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. But you knew the music was jamming. Though. Man, that motherfucker rocking me. I rolled the Glenwood, they beat that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> in my box shit, nigga. Yeah, when it first came out. Yeah, yeah, I did that one. I remember that. Yeah, what's yeah. up, man? Now that being real though, bro. Nah, this a whole different thirty Icebox made this 32. My first 32 was made by Emmett out of Texas, Houston, Texas. Okay. Mm. This is my Brit Squad chain, melted down, swapped out oh, diamonds. Damn. Okay. They made that. Made this out of Icebox jewelry. Damn, that's crazy. So everybody was like, man, he still got that old lad chain. And oh, that bro, you you just don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't, yeah, I, my dumb ass went and remade the same exact shit that I did have. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I did, cause this is my fucking label. Yeah, yeah, I probably could have went smaller and nah, made bro. twenty nah, of them. That, 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 yeah. that about right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just felt like I needed my shit, cause I ain't got the the orange man no more. That's my symbol. You feel me? Yeah. So let me at least stay with the label shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? That's mm -hmm. mine. I feel you. I, you know, it just go off of nigga reading them comments. Nigga like, man, Juice got style of coming. I can't be hard. Yeah. I yeah. be wanting to see what a nigga saying. Yeah. You 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 have another legendary freestyle at the at the uh complex thing. Cause a lot of people say, was you not prepared for that? Or you for just did your complex freestyle for the freshman cover? Where you just said the same thing the whole time. A complex. Well, it was the freshman you know the freshman cover that made y'all freestyle. The XSL freshman club. Well, I was like sitting in the dark with some purple on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I was mad here. <laughs> but I did not want to do that because it was yeah. not working for my brain that day. Oh, yeah. okay. Because you just said the same thing over and over. Yeah, I, I ain't know what to say. But y'all got the most views, though. I don't know <laughs> how. I said some trash-ass shit. <laughs> I'm talking about trash city. Pick did they, up did they tell on Thursday. Did they tell y'all y'all want freestyle or no? No, I don't think so. I, don't, I can't remember. This shit was so long ago, but I remember me sitting in the door with the purple on. I put my head down first. I'm like, man, these folks finna make me freestyle. Yeah. And this ain't what. I, I, and I don't come prepared like if I would have wrote some shit a few nights before. Yeah. yeah. I ain't thinking on no shit like that because mm -hmm. I know I ain't no freestyle nigga. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I get here and do this shit, I'm like, and then they recording. I'm fucking up. I'm saying the most trashy shit ever. I just. I don't think I can think of leaving out that shit like right at that moment. You know you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you feel me? Yeah. Right at that moment, boy. You know you fucked up. No, what that nigga said to uh, Mr. Side. You know you don't fucked, fucked up, up, right? Yeah. You don't fucked up. No, you don't fucked up. No, you don't fucked up. No, you don't fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, like it got a lot of views though. You I know don't know how. <laughs> hey, probably the view from them just trying to come laugh. Gotcha. Like what though? Fuck is this nigga rapping about? <laughs> I feel you. Um, moving a little forward, man. Like I say, you end up dropping um, your first album, Other Side of the Trap. Happy as hell. Happy as a motherfucker because I finally got executive produced by Oda William on the back. That's dope, man. Well, do you remember where you was the day it dropped? Um, I was uh, the little shit that going out while I'm in the camera. Talking about... Yeah, uh, we in Pittsburgh right now. Oh. Colorado Parsons. We shooting to make the Tricep A video. video. Yeah. Album G came out. If you ain't got to go and get it, it's in this store. You feel? Yeah. Yeah, it just had dropped in. Well, dang, man. How did you feel? You like to say, you say you was happy? Happy you know as a saying? motherfucker. Um, you executive producer also? Mm -hmm. That's all I care about. I ain't want no money. I just want executive produce. And yeah. I know money supposed to come with signing the record deal. Yeah. 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 Um. I thought it was a dope album. I thought you put together the project very well. You know what I'm saying? And then I ain't put it together. It wasn't even on me. They took a bunch of songs off eight to ten mixtapes. Well, I ain't on cap. Mm -hmm. About five, to, anywhere from five to seven mixtapes. They took the best. You can't even say it was streamed back then. I was going to say the best streaming songs. Mm -hmm. But the, the best songs that had high traffic to it. Gotcha. And... Put it to the app and made the album. Called those. That's really why Copper those. Chicken on the album only one verse. Copper mm. Chicken is three verses. Right. Mm. I remember that. They couldn't get the session fruition 
trying to just hurry up, mumbo jumbo some shit and pocket the budget. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Producers weren't paid. Damn. How you feel about Copper Chicken going kind of slick viral on TikTok? Yeah, goddamn, and I don't get nothing off that shit. But <laughs> I mean, by you knowing my name, yeah, 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 you yeah, knowing yeah, my yeah. song, okay, that's cool. But as far as in dollar wise, because that's what it's about, you ain't got no money, you fuck. Yeah. You feel me? That motherfucker doing hella super good. Yeah, I eat out the publishing, but mm. the actual residual big income off that record, Bush, I, I can tell you where that shit go. Yeah, I feel you on that. What's what's some of your biggest markets where you go to when you perform? Because I know Gucci Man, one of his biggest markets is, is is Chicago. Is it like that with you up there in Chicago also? It used to be. Back then, Chicago was one of my biggest markets. It still says one of my, like, my third. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta first. Mm -hmm. Dallas, Texas, like, I second. Yeah. Chicago, like, fourth. But really, the Carolina is my best market. Carolina. North, south, it don't fucking matter. Carolina. Dang. Um, not to stick on no, you know, you know, no negative stuff. I know you and Walker was really cool at one point. Mm -hmm. What caused the initial fallout between y'all two? Me saying that mama took money, which I feel. Like. All right, you talk about my mama, I'm finna come for you, talk too, but right is right, wrong is wrong. Y'all had a mm -hmm. song on Walker album, bro, called Damn. You remember that song? Damn, mom, I stop. Damn, mom, boo. Man. Yeah. Why y'all never made a video for that, bro? Because y'all performed that, I think, at Figure Eight one time. Mm. Man, that motherfucker. I used to go to Figure Eight a lot. Bro, That's they crazy went. Man, it was wow. everybody in there. They went ballistic. And we performed Damn in there? Yes. Wow. Uh, it's on YouTube right now. Ooh. And they went crazy, bro. And I'm like, you was on this side, and he was on this side. But Walker, he had, you know, he was wild Walker. Yeah, 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 off, yeah, 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 shake your dread. Damn, yeah. bro. I'm like, why y'all, that was the best, to me, that was one of the best songs on the mix. Yeah, table. Walker used to fight something back then, too. They used, they used to beat niggas up in the club. <laughs> <laughs> so Walker would beat niggas yeah, up back they, then? They would beat niggas up in the club back then, for sure. <laughs> Shit, for sure. So when did he, I know when, when did he come around instantly once Deb started managing Gucci? Or? No, they, but like, when, you got to remember now, Deb been around since So Ice. Mm-hmm. And for real? Yeah, they've been around. They were business partners with So Ice. I thought he was, he was, thought he was with um, 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 Big Cat. Big Cat That's Big Cat Records. It was LaFleur Entertainment. So they were there doing that? Like right after. Yeah, right man. after. Okay. Right, right, right after the Big Cat situation or in the midst of the Big Cat situation probably going back. I don't know. So so Walker came a little bit after that? Nah, hell no. Nah. Walker is Deb's son, so I, I mean I know, but like did he come around instantly once she became yeah. Him? Once Deb and Gucci, yeah, Walker was there instantly. I know early mm -hmm. on Gucci was was with Mojo a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the yeah, that's true too. But at the same time, Walker would be there too. Like depending on if Gucci would let Walker ride with him or mm -hmm. Walker drove. I ain't no telling. You know what I'm saying? Right, but right. yeah, Walker was there from Jump Street with with bro when his mama got with. Bro, gotcha. How y'all relationship now? You just, you just with left who? it with Walker. You just left it where you left it. I mean, I'm cool. Besides what I said, what I said, and he said what he said. I mean, I ain't got no pressure with him. It's just, yeah. you know, I understand where he coming from. Hey, yeah, you got now talking about a nigga mama stole something. Hey, man. Yeah. Right is right, wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? You but take it up for your mama. You know speaking your truth, though. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't yeah. got no reason to lie. Do you, so, do you miss those times, man? Because it seemed like at that time y'all was running. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like, mean, ten seventeen was. Everywhere. Do I yeah. miss them? Kind of, but not really. Man, that's like a family. Yeah, we yeah. were, but it, it just was a lot of flaw shit, man. And I'm not no flaw nigga, man. I yeah. don't want to be around that shit. I don't want that shit to rub off on me. I just stand on what I stand on, and if yeah. it, what I stand on caused me to not be elevated. Where I supposed to be the up here OJ the Juice man, then that's just what it is because I'm stand I stand on what the fuck I stand on, and I ain't sucking no dick and kissing no ass to do it. Oh really? Dude, I feel you on that man. That, that makes complete sense. A lot of people came around early on who I feel like capitalized on y'all heat. True. Um, I'm not saying these people rolled y'all nothing like that, but you got people like Francis. Nickies, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? A lot of those people came around and capitalized on the fact that y'all was so hot down here. Mm -hmm. But and you got to remember, Deb brought these folk down too because she from where they from. You feel? Yeah. Or they probably might didn't even know her from up there, but know she's a New York relative, relative person, and she down south working on moving. She got Gucci. Mm -hmm. 
It ain't shit. Put a call in. Hey, man, let me come join the team. Like, when French came, she sent French to me because she know I'm the street nigga. Mm -hmm. French come to my studio on Gresham Road. I get him the work of, uh, we buy the whole thing. And after he put the video out with my cameraman who shot it, it might have been my cameraman and his cameraman, I can't remember. But that shit where we shot with OJ the Jew man, French Montana, we buy the whole thing. That was in my studio. My equipment, my beat. Maybe my video, man. And French blew up after that, after he put that shit out. Right. Mm -hmm. Do these people, because I'm going to be honest with you, man, You y'all held a lot. They, they wasn't hot down here. Not Y'all was. Do, Not do these do Do these people reach back now? Hell no. What they going to reach back for? I'm just saying. I ain't, I ain't that OJ no more. I feel you. Who OJ listening to nowadays? Man, I got about, in my iTunes right now, I got 90... I got 9,600 songs. I just download. Well, I go to iTunes to see new albums, and yeah. then I get all my old music I grew up listening to. Right. And then the artists that I am critiquing right now, I yeah. go and get their albums to see their production style, their delivering style, yeah. what they rapping about. Woo -woo. I really ain't got no favorite because I got too many fucking songs in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, how many artists you got under 32 now, if you got any? I ain't got none, Jimmy. So you just working on you right now? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Nothing wrong with that, man. Um, so you ain't listening to none of the new artists in hip hop right now, or? Yeah, I'm, I listen. I listen to if I like their music. That's the only way I listen to them. Like if I don't heard them before, scroll across. Most somebody put me on it, and I like it. I'm gonna go download it. Who Who in the game right now remind OJ of OJ? Who remind you of you right now? Mm, I can't really say because nigga ain't talking that shit like me. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 you nigga think, what you think of NBA Youngboy? I fuck with Youngboy. He, he that nigga. Yeah. I fuck with Youngboy. My nephew put me on Youngboy and I really like him. Once my nephew put me on Youngboy, I went and got uh, downloaded all, everything he put out. Every mm. album. I, I got it in my shit. Just to, And I really like him. I like his music. Now, did you did you come up with the name Brick Squad? Yeah, I came up with Bridge Squad. How did that happen? Um, Goop called from jail one day, needing something to put with 10 sound team. Um, so he like, Juice, I need, I got, I said, where did he get 10? Bro, you know that my granddad asked you. I said, oh, okay, okay, okay. He like, but I need something to go with it, though, because it just seemed plain. I'm like, shit, bro, out nah. at the gate. I, first thing I told him about shit, I ain't no motherfucking bridge squad, nigga. You know what we got going on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. And it just yeah. went from there. I ain't do no lead work, like, yeah. uh, copyrighted and do all. I ain't do nothing like because they're my boy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know I wasn't using it, because I'm still trying to run with 32 Entertainment. Right. Yeah. So I knew I wasn't going to use the bridge squad, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And after that, he just put it to work. Yep. Did you think early on Nicki Minaj was gonna blow up the way she did when y'all was working with her and stuff like that? Did you see her as a superstar like she is now? Mm, nah, I, but I see I seen some spazzes on her too. I, I I couldn't really tell you if I ever listened to her at that time. I probably never had even listened to her at that time, but just her movability about her, she she had like a little aura about her when I met her. Mm -hmm. I'm like she might can make it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know she went ugly, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as in, could she really rap? Then I want like uh, me meeting her down the line. I listen to her on some Wayne shit. Like, oh, this who they was, bro? That motherfucking really rap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she bad that she was spent. Yeah, for to be a female, you feel me? Yeah. Like we ain't really have too many like hood females that. You really spit that shit like yeah. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely, man. You had the song, man, with R. Kelly, Superman, how you spoke on that earlier. Mm -hmm. How did that come about, man? Cause R. Kelly's, I mean, I know what they say now. Yeah, that, that, that's why they, that. they add me like, how you feel about, hey, man, I don't look at it. They yeah. kill it. He yeah. a legend. Yeah. Boy, they kill it, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, I can believe I can fly. <laughs> I'm telling them that. I'm you did it. They yeah. did yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They who, like, did they call you? They say, boy, we want uh -oh. um, I want to say it might have came through the label. They like, hey, R. Kelly want a record. Mm. I'm like, shit, for real? I'm like, I'm finna go meet the nigga. Yeah. But at the studio, it wasn't him. It just, they got the producer, Willie Will, who made the record. 
man, he presented me with the record. Like, boy, we need a hook. We need a hook and a verse. Mm -hmm. And then he played it. Dun, 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 dun. I'm like, I ain't walk in the club getting soup. And see, I was drinking the uh, Don Julio. Did I say, did I say Don Julio? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was drinking the Don Julio back then. And uh, that's how I came up with that shit. That's crazy, man. Man, one more thing I just want to ask you. The stuff that you done did to me, as far as coming from Atlanta, man, legendary. Do okay. you feel like you done got your respect, man? I mean, I ain't really tripping it. Because I, I really just didn't got out my feelings about this shit because it is what it is. Uh -huh. Social media going to be social media, goddamn damn, man. I, at first, yeah, I'd be like, God damn, motherfucker don't got damn recognize me for shit. But then, as time went on, like, you know what? But I ain't got damn really tripping on being notable for some of the similar, some of the shit that I brought to the game. Because I came in the game off of listening to niggas, and I just wanted to kind of emulate them, mm -hmm. but put it in my way. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? And so, shit, I just take it with what it is, man. I ain't tripping, man. I know it's going to come when the nigga die. So, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, I feel you on that. One of my other favorite songs, man, you did was Vet Pad by, bro. Ooh. But I think that was, man, what was y'all on when y'all made that, bro? Because for Gucci Man to be saying, Whoosh, and all that shit going on <laughs> yeah, in the song. In the song <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. What was like? I want to say we was in a, I want to say Fat Boy made that beat. We was in the studio hyped about Fat Boy. Because mm. he had the new sound at the time, man. His 808s and shit were going yeah, crazy. Going yeah. crazy. Yeah. So, uh, I want to say, by the time I'm about to make it to the studio to get on the song, the shit was really ready. Uh, it was just open verse for me. Mm. Yeah. When I got there and heard, I'm like, oh, hey, yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know I'm finna eat on this yeah. bitch. Not knowing the song was going to really do good yeah, down the yeah. line, because you never know what record going to be right. fuck really fuck with. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. And you know, motherfucker, whew, Bullets go. Yeah, I was like, boy, yeah. that shit crazy. Right here, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, that shit sounded good too. I was like, boy, y'all wait. And I think yeah. I shot the video in front of a club. Oh, uh, down at Morton Plaza in front of the game room. Yeah, yeah man. the game room. Yeah, down, like big that. ass uh, game room pool time. All you, this shit. You and Walk was in the in the car or some shit. Yeah, like that. we was in the car and they like <laughs> they want me to do how explain yeah. to them how I make my music out the ad libs type shit. Yeah, make right. the, want to bounce make you bounce in your car type music you know what i'm saying yeah i feel you on that we got anything else you want man i just want to say man i sh man i'm proud of you and gucci man just man, that's real. That's from, real. from where y'all started yeah. mm -hmm. to where y'all at yeah. now because mm -hmm. you know where y'all was at you, you could have been a, another deceased person you see yeah, what i'm saying yeah. but it's like just seeing how y'all don't grow y'all healthy mind right everything just together y'all family men now yep. i want to say man give yourself a pat on the back man, bro that real. Thank oj you, real and orange juice need to give you a sponsorship hey man. you talking about <laughs> for real dog uh, you know sunny y'all motherfuckers you get his man uh, some shit for real a 45 deal yeah yeah, yeah yeah i had my own bill it was called the power driver what the fuck happened with that? The power it, it was The deal was only for like a uh, year and a half or some shit. It was yeah. in certain stores. It went number Coke 45 beer with orange juice. Shit. Yeah. They cut a check, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you can find I know a few of my buddies still got some cans out past night when they were sending me cases to get the yeah. brand out. That was up, man. That was up, bro. Oh. Coke 45, <laughs> motherfucker. OJ the Jew, man. Power driver. Man, I, I don't think I say it, man. I grew up on that shit, man. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I can't even believe for, like, like even, you know, because I feel like Gucci is an extension of you. And for him to even be, be listening on the list is like the 35 greatest rapper of all time. And for y'all to come from where y'all came from, bro, mm -hmm. I never thought that shit. I remember he That's used to come... Up. To the 20 grand. I don't remember if you remember that. I remember 20 grand. The 20 grand and do the same freestyle. Ooh, that nigga said 20 grand. <laughs> you know how old that nigga was? You know, I'm a real wow. fan, bro. Yeah. And he's do this yeah. same freestyle. He's be with a nigga. I don't know if you remember. He's be with a nigga named Pocketbook. I don't remember. I don't know if you remember that. But he's be with a nigga to carry his shit for him all the time. Mm. But he's do this same. He had the, the, he had the Dodge Magnum. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he, I was telling all like, man, niggas have a dog, man. He yeah. do this same yeah. freestyle every single week. And we was like, man, you know, because you know, Gucci freestyle, you know, back then they were like, you think of some up north shit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I don't know about that. But then he came out with the Soul Icing, 
And then when y'all, then when you started rapping with him, we started catching on to your shit with him. Mm -hmm. And bro, I never thought them DVDs y'all would have end up being what y'all live. Damn, like, that's crazy. I was like, what them hood affairs and them the raw reports affairs, and shit. And they, that shit helped the nigga out back then. I remember one you did. You was burning your own mixtapes on. Oh yeah. At the end, yeah. and, and I then you, I got the J's in the bag. Yeah. Up. I yeah. got the towers that's burning. Them. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we in the trap spot. Yeah, you had like all the motherfucking the the Dope CD. Bean. Man, all that bro, shit. I remember yeah. all that shit, bro. For you to like come here and talk about your story, man. We that shit crazy. That, I still man. got them down CD burning. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> still got them on. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Well, look, man, we appreciate you coming. Man, real, appreciate y'all for real. having me, man. Hey, man, Bad Speaker Podcast. Your boy, Shaw. It's your boy, G Dows. Hey, out of here. what it do? This your boy, OJ the Jew, man. Appreciate y'all for checking in on the back Bad Speaker Podcast, man. We down like four flat tires, rocking like cutout, stocking cut. Let's get it. All right, yes, ready. Sir.